What's up guys, welcome back into the Millennial Profit. My name's Adam and I'm a full-time reseller. If you're new here, I show you all different kinds of ways how to make money. So if you like money, hit that subscribe button. If you noticed, maybe the video quality is a little better. I was filming from my phone before. Now I got a brand new Osmo action, action camera. Obviously could have a better camera, but this is a way better quality than what I was having. And this was just the next step up. Once we keep gaining more subscribers, we'll just keep stepping up the quality for you guys. We're so close to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for that. I'm truly blessed and never thought I would grow this fast. Today I've got another What Sold video for you. And it's currently Sunday night. I'm going to package everything up tonight. Um, my total could be higher if I waited till tomorrow, but I'm just going to do it tonight because I've got lots of stuff to do tomorrow and we had a very good weekend. So let's get into it and the end of the video I'll tell you the total profit I made on everything sold. Alright so let's start with the big items. So I just sold two of these pool filters at $144 a piece. If you remember correctly, these were 70 at Big Lots, but I had the 20% off coupon as well as a $10 off coupon. So most of them I got for around 50 bucks a piece. Those were my last two, easy money there. Then I got these from Kohl's last week and I even posted about them for you guys on my Instagram story. So make sure to check that out if you're not already uh, at millennial underscore profit. But those I'm selling for 410 a pop and I got four of them in and one, two, three, four, and I just ordered seven more. They came back in stock. So be on the lookout for those on Kohl's. They are $200, but you will get Kohl's cash. So for every four you order, you get $160 Kohl's cash. So 40 bucks a pool. And I reinvested that with my other seven. So just easy money and I'm gonna make about $100 profit on those. They really don't weigh that much. They're 58 pounds and they aren't super big. Uh, then we sold these earplugs, which I'll probably get out in a little bit. You'll see in my stack for 25 bucks, paid five for those. And then we sold another 10 footer. Just listed it at the trending price, which was 303. And again, I have about 80 bucks in that after the coupon. So very good weekend on Amazon, lots of big items. Oh, and then on eBay, I sold three of these. So the first two I sold at 109 right there. Just trying to move these. These were like 60 at Walmart. Um, and I sold one more. I raised, oh, it's down. I raised the price here. Boom. I got $119.99 for that one. I still have a couple of those left. Thought those were going to be bigger than they were, but apparently it's just too small and too shallow. But I'm still going to make like 15 bucks after everything. So a profit is a profit, right? Guys, I'm editing this now. And the next four clips did not format on the SD card. I didn't have the right SD card and I didn't even realize it. But all the other clips did. But of course, the clips where I'm showing you what I sold literally did not format. And all I can get is the audio from those. So I'm not really sure what to do or what's going to happen with this video. I'm going to try to piece together what I have the best I can. So just so you know, that's why a lot of this is <laughs> not coming together as well as it normally does on this Monday video. But we're sitting here and it's about five o'clock right now and i'm trying to get this video up in an hour for you guys so i'm gonna see what i can do and see if i can piece together something for you you'll see here next so my best plan of attack is just to explain to you right now exactly what i sold so on marketplace i sold a total of 43 items i think around that when i was filming this part i it's hard to remember i ended up with more by this morning i started filming this last night but it was around like 43 and it, about 38 of those were flags i sold a sander um that i've sold there in the past that was four bucks um what else did i sell i sold a couple jerseys that i got from pallets paid 16 bucks a piece and sold those for 46 again i'm really sorry i had all the clips showing you guys um i got the right sd card on the way i don't know how some of the videos formatted correctly and the other ones didn't but we'll have that the kinks worked out i'm um, just trying to figure this out okay so my ebay one went away too so i'm gonna just do it on here as well so the cleveland browns bucket hat for 22 bucks and i paid five dollars for that the other day at marshall's here's those pools i was talking about um i actually sold the first couple at 110 and then 120 i raised the price uh then we got a chief's kingdom towel that i paid uh, i believe four dollars for it at dick's clearance event and sold it for 13 nothing big there paid like 50 cents for this at the walgreens clearance event and sold it for fourteen dollars another one of those pools we got a new york islanders hat 
for twenty dollars paid like four or five bucks for that we paid eight dollars for this at marshall's and sold it for 25 got a purdue boilermakers golf hat that i paid two dollars for at my local embroidery place sold it for 18 plus ship another one of those pools we got a robbie cano bobblehead sold for 20 bucks that was for my latest lids palette and we got these sandals from puma these mercedes amg you saw me get these a while back at 15 bucks and sold them for 45 sea world shirt size large 10 bucks a fc cincinnati jersey 30 bucks and paid i think 10 for that at marshall's usf blanket for 30 bucks and paid three dollars for that at bit fta umbc hat paid two dollars for that at marshall's sold for 17 chelsea banner thing that i got in a lids palette sold it for 25 bucks a jack rabbits hat which looks like i haven't shipped yet oh this is all stuff see i messed up um, I'm missing, definitely missing some things. I think this is just from today's. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to hit everything, but you'll see by the number of packages that I have that it's way more than what I'm showing you. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can. I lost my footage, and I cannot remember exactly everything that sold. I had this video laid out perfect, so this is just really annoying me. So another thing that I missed was... This morning I met someone on Marketplace for a $1,000 cash deal. So that will be in the final numbers as well. Just really annoying because I had a really nice video planned out and a bunch of it got deleted. And here was after everything but the pools. Again, I lost that footage. So here's the picture I had from Instagram that I posted on my story. All right, guys, here is everything from the weekend. I finally got all the pools packaged up. This is several hours later wow oh my goodness all right so now what you've all been waiting for we're going to get into the numbers here we go brace yourself and remember the numbers from like the last what probably two months of videos are a little bit inflated than normal because i'm selling pools once i'm out of pools these should be around like one two thousand dollar weekends these are just absolutely crazy right now but we did nine sales on amazon for two thousand five hundred and sixty three dollars 46 Facebook Marketplace sales for $2,012. eBay, we did 27 sales for $785. And Mercari, we had one item for $20. For a total of 83 items for $5,380 in sales this weekend. Absolutely blows my mind. Now, again, that's factoring in now 11 pools because uh, I just moved that 11th one this morning. So now we need to subtract out our costs that we had so shipping we need to subtract out 913 dollars for shipping again the pools have an impact on all these numbers because it's going to have higher costs of goods sold and higher shipping and higher fees because they sold for more they cost a lot and they're heavier so they cost more to ship so 913 to ship 516 dollars in fees that we need to take out and two thousand one hundred and six dollars in cost of goods sold again pools have a huge impact on that for a net profit of one thousand eight hundred and forty five dollars and as we always do multiply that by 52 to see what i would do if i did that every single weekend 95k a year so again truly truly blessed to be able to do this as a full-time job i cannot say that enough follow your dreams if you want to do this go for it follow my video on how to scale up a reselling business i feel like that is one of my most helpful videos it's like 33 minutes long but i literally tell you step-by-step -step guide of how to go about it and again sell stuff in areas that you know if you try to replicate what i'm selling and you don't know that stuff it's not going to work out for you because you're not going to know the value of things you'll know the value of things in an area that you know and there's money to be made in every single department of every store so again i cannot wait till we hit a thousand subscribers we are getting there i'm so excited and i've got a really cool video series planned for you guys if you've tuned into a couple of my live streams i've talked about it I will reveal that in my 1,000 subscriber video. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all the support and love that I've been getting. That'll do it for this video. There's money to be made everywhere. Let's go get it. Thank you for watching The Millennial Profit.